I prayed and I asked God, I said, God, please, I'm asking you to remove anything and any, everything and anything that is not for me or serving me purpose. And little by little, It's not a workout video. Um, you don't hear any music. I'm not in my workout clothes. I'm just at home. Um, I was about to go on the road to do a video. I was going to do a video about my five-day juice cleanse. I was going to bring you guys to the grocery store with me. However, change of plans. Um, today's video will be a little bit different. So while I was getting ready, um, first and foremost, I've been getting really, 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 really close to God. And yeah, he's my best friend. Honey, let me tell you, he's my best friend. So I was getting ready and it was just like... He was just like, no, do a different type of video today. I feel like a lot of people need to hear this. And I'm not the one to like um, be vocal about certain things. Um, but I just feel like, hopefully, I feel in my soul that this message or whatever I'm about to say, I don't know exactly what I'm about to say, but I know God will give me the right words to say that will touch somebody or will help somebody. And yeah, with that being said, um, today I just want to talk about just being honest and um, under understanding who just basically basically self-awareness you know what i mean and i feel like especially how the world is running right now and how everything has shifted to a more negative side because i feel like right now the outside world it's very it's busy it's busy it's, it's just a lot even though like there's a lot a lot of cutbacks but it's just it's a lot of chaos and mm, it's a lot it's a lot it's a lot right and i know that people are not coping well a lot of people prior to covid they were dealing with anxiety and depression but i know now that it's even worse and nobody speaks on it nobody tried to be too vocal on it a lot of people are ashamed to say that they deal with mental issues or depressions or whatever the case might be a lot of people are afraid to speak on that um not just to out for everyone to know but like maybe to a close friend or a family member there's family members that you have right now who are dealing with stuff that you would never know to, you would never think to know that they're going through something there's friends that are close to you who smile with you and laugh with you every day and they're probably the most the funniest one out of the group and they're the one that's going home crying and really like depressed or whatever the case might be right? you just never know that's all i'm trying to say you just never know and i'm just making this video because i hope and i pray that you could take something something it could be something one word i say that might touch you or might help you change or might help you in any kind of way to cope or whatever the case might be you know what i mean i just hope that this is a reason why um god said or i got the message to, to come and share this video what's today's video i want to speak about honesty and how honesty can help you um, being fully honest with yourself can help you feel less pain um, hold, like just being honest overall with yourself will help you overall with everything in life that's the first step of growth and if you're 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 every year you're becoming older and older and while you're becoming older you don't you, you're not even trying to grow as a person then something is wrong something is wrong and the people around you are not elevating or growing then something is wrong something is definitely wrong but I would like to share like a little thing about me and I want to get into what I really want to talk about. So basically with me, I deal with things differently from people, right? I, everyone's different. Everyone's mindset is different. So everyone deals with things differently. But the way I deal with things then and now is different, right? And um, the starting of this year for me, I had to, was a big eye opening for me. I prayed. I prayed and I prayed and I prayed and I asked God because I didn't like the way how things were going and sometimes that's the first step is identifying um, certain things first you need to identify and just be truthful and honest with with, with things and, and, and with yourself right so I had to be honest with myself things started to reveal and over time you know I went my, I lost my godfather in January um, and that was a big humbling moment for me i've always been very humble and quiet to myself but his death made me view life in a different way in a different light and i appreciate um i appreciate that and everything in my life that i've experienced before good bad ugly beautiful i appreciate them because those things made me 
how this woman right now and i'm very proud of this woman right now a year ago asked me this question and i was i would i would hesitate to say i am proud of myself i, I was proud i'm always proud of myself but this has been the proudest i've ever been because i had to look myself in the mirror i remember one day i was washing clean in the washroom and i had to um i didn't have to it just happened i was just cleaning and i just started staring at myself and tears just started coming. Would be more oh, coming. And I'm like, God, why am I crying? Like, why am I crying? I just started talking out loud. And every single thing from my childhood, that everything that I've known and put under the rug and cover up and put on a smile and go on like nothing around. I mean, just move on every day and carry on. Every single thing just start coming and I start talking out loud and I start letting them out and I just start praying and I look myself in the mirror and I'm like God I just I just want to just be honest with myself and be a better version of myself than what I think I know if that makes sense I need to be overall a better daughter a better mother a better me a better sister and I just say God just fill me up work through me God help me God show me God everything like I just love him so much. I just want to keep going. But that was the first step. Like I prayed the starting of the year. And at first, I'm like, everything will make sense. That's my thing to say. Everything will make sense. Everything will reveal. And it will all play out, you know? And that moment, I stood in my washroom and I let it all out. Because we hold on to things. It doesn't matter how old you are, we hold on to things. Even our childhood, people say those things shouldn't affect you when you're when you're when you're 30 or whatever that stuff will still affect you i know people who are in their 70s are, who are still holding on to childhood stuff that they're not really over and they need a closure and let me tell you let me give you the honest truth you will never get that closure from the person that you from that person or whoever or whatever you may not get that closure so you gotta fully be honest and just accept it and say you know what that person will never give me that closure and just accept it and just trust God. Because you're okay. Even if they're not giving you the closure, you're still okay. You're still living. You're still breathing. You're still alive. You're still carrying on your everyday life. You know what I mean? Like, you don't need to hold on to everything. Something. Just let, let it go. Let it go. Make it go on. Let it go. In a, every, a lot of things that we've been through in life did not come. It didn't happen to just, to destroy you. A lot of things, some of the bad things, if you make you stronger, make you, it's a lesson. And it's unfortunate, but you, it, it's the only way you can become stronger and strengthen your mind. If me never got through certain things in my life, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be the woman I am. I wouldn't have the mindset that I have. I wouldn't have the view that I have. I wouldn't have the knowledge that I have. I wouldn't be sharing this video. You know what I mean? Like, I went through a lot, and I appreciate every single thing. Everything. Oh, I appreciate them. But I'm just saying this. Um, back to what I was saying. I had a whole moment. Um, this was like after my grandfather died. My grandfather died in January. And I think I had this moment. Um, I don't remember what exactly, but it was earlier on in the year. And I was saying, I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray for everything. I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray for everything. And I just been get, I've been getting closer to God. Um, listen, I know everyone, we all have a story. Um, we all deal with things. We're up something right now. You know? Everyone is different, everyone deals with things differently. Um, but at the same time, we gotta be honest with ourselves. Forget COVID for, for a minute. Just forget about the COVID for a minute. Are you really honest with who you are and with yourself? Are you really and genuinely happy with yourself? I always say this to myself. If I'm not happy about something, change it. Figure out a way to change it for the better, not for the worse. You know what I mean? And that was just, that was to be honest with myself about. I wasn't happy with the way my, my how the way my life was and how I was. I'm not saying I was worse or whatever, but I know I can be better, so I prayed about it. And that's what I, I would love for a lot of people to be more honest with themselves. Stop holding on to a grudge or holding on to um, a lot of things that you know you can let go of. If you know you can't let go of it, just let go of it. Pray to God. Ask God to give it the strength to just let go of it. There's so much people who have so much hate in them. In them. And you would you'll be surprised of the things the then they will go to do some hateful, bitter, devilish things. And you just say, like, Wow, this person was really like this. You know what I mean? Let me ask tell you. You see, once you have God in your you have God in your heart, certain things you're not go it you're not gonna hold up. You just say, you know what? Just like a prayer prayer for the person. But I'm just saying this to say this. 
honesty. Be honest. Take some time. Here are some things I want people to do. I would love for people to just take some time and learn, figure out who you are as a person. When I prayed, I asked God, I said, God, like, basically make me over again. Let me find myself again. Let me love all of me again. It's not that I stopped loving me, but my love wasn't as strong as it is now because of a lot of reasons I don't want to get into, but... Um, I, when I prayed, I let it all out and I asked God, I said, God, God say you ask and you shall receive. I said, God, allow me to just be single for a year and so I could find me. A year, it's almost a year and I just, I still don't feel like I'm ready for another relationship. I'm not ready. I'm not saying that if it comes, I'm going to push it away, but I know, sometimes that's what I'm saying, be honest with yourself. I know I'm not ready for a relationship. There's so many things that we're not honest about with ourselves, and that's why we always end up getting hurt. And that's why I'm making this video. It'll be less pain if you're honest with yourself. For example, you're in a situation, and maybe you're in the situation for years, and you're not happy. Internally, you're not happy. You know the person is never gonna change, but you stick around because of X, Y, Z, maybe the kids, maybe your house, maybe the family, maybe whatever. But internally, you're not happy. You're gonna die unhappy. Remember, it's one life you have, you know? One life you have to live. How you, you never know when that expiry date is going to come. You never know. So you're going to tell me, so when you're going to find death, but you're going to say, you know, somebody wish, wish um, I did things differently. But then again, nothing happens before it's time. And however your story is supposed to go, that is how it's supposed to go. However, there are times when you prolong the story that, that the chapter that shadow in a long time, but you... I'm speaking to myself. I feel like I'm speaking to myself right now. But we stay because of many, many reasons. Shame, all this stuff, right? And not just relationship. You know, you know, say one lose the local weight, they slightly deep and burger them or whatever. Whatever the case might be, it could be anything. You know, say you, you want you, um you want to start a business, you, I don't know, whatever the case might be. Too many people right now, especially in a time like now, or even before now, way too many people belittle themselves and accept the bare minimum and that's why you and and you're not being and that's where honesty comes and you're not honest with yourself and that's why you will just accept certain things and any and anything you know um and that's where a lot of problems happen and that's where the cycle happens and, and that's where it just you know what i mean like you will never grow you will never understand who you are you will never evolve you will never become better you know what I mean? And it just becomes that cycle. And that's why I tell people sometimes to just pause. Pause. We never said this stop, you know? We never said pause. Put your foot palm breaks. And I say I still have gas repressing on. Put your foot palm breaks. I remember having this conversation with my grandmother. I love her so much. Um, put your foot palm breaks. And really, really and truly, honestly, have this conversation with yourself and God out loud. Look in the mirror. I'm telling you. And let it all out. And be honest with yourself. Whatever it is, let it all come in. Enough people right now, them, them have close friends and I'm afraid for go talk to the close friend. Or them have family member and I'm afraid for go talk or whatever the case might be. Or you might have people you're talking to but you're not telling them everything. You're not going to tell them everything. And that is fine. And not everything I have to, um, you have to tell people. And that's just how I am. I say sometimes, maybe for a day, shut your phone off. Or don't even shut the phone off. Just put the phone one side. Turn off the TV and do something that you like to do. You know? I'm being quite honest. Everything takes time. I would like to say whatever it is that anyone is going through it right now. Um, I pray that you will get through it. I know that you will get through it. Um, Rain doesn't rain doesn't pour forever. The sun will come out. Um, I know there's light at the end of the tunnel. Take it from me. Because there's times where when I wasn't honest with myself, I was in a lot of pain. And like I said, when you're not honest with yourself, it costs a lot of pain. A lot of pain that you could avoid. And it took me a long time to be honest with myself. 
It took me a very long time. And it might take a lot of people a long time, to be honest. Maybe a year from now, after watching this video, might look like I see and say, you know, so should you fight your right? You might not do this right now. You might not take the time out. No. I really look in yourself and try and be honest with yourself to fix a lot of things that are that are broken in your life. You might not do it now, but you're going to do it one day, trust me. And you have to. I think I believe everyone should really take some time. A lot of people are just going, 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 going. Cycle, 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 cycle. Toxic, 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 toxic. All the wrong things, all the bad things. I love how I am as a person. I will stay true and humble to myself. Regardless if this person don't like me, that person don't like me, that is okay. If this person comes and leaves, that is okay. Because not everyone is meant to be in your life forever. No one is meant to be in your life forever. Everyone will go at some point for different reasons. And people come in your life for different reasons, okay? Once you accept that and you understand certain things, once you accept who you are and you accept God and you understand certain things, trust me everything will start making sense to you everything will start playing out for you i'm telling you take some time if you don't take some time even today after watching this take some time have a if you're in your car after work have a, a nice go somewhere quiet if it's by the water that you like to go to if it's in your car um your washroom your bedroom wherever it is pray before you do this and just have that conversation with yourself you know what i mean um really and truly be honest and Maybe I you start practicing once you start once you do this well for me once i once i had that moment and i felt like i needed that moment i start practicing different things that, that help me as a person you know that's allowing me to become a better overall human being for me and i remember at one point when i was so hurt and so broken um i was just like i just want my heart to be bitter and broken i don't want to love nobody and all these things i'm just like no it's not me i have a big heart and if i love you and if i care for you i'm gonna i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you with my actions because actions speak a lot of words and a lot of times we, we fall for words and that's why a lot of times we get hurt not just like relationship or anything family members friends you know what i mean um you gotta be true to yourself you gotta be honest with yourself and just accept sometimes you just have to accept things for what they are in life let me say something to you in life there's certain things that you have full control over there's certain things you have somewhat of a control over and then there's some things that we have no control over you see certain things we don't have no control over don't stress over it this is some people put some things on their head i'm just like you don't need to feel stressed over that because you have no control over it you know what i mean also another thing um Sometimes in life we have certain goals that we want to achieve. And right now we feel we have the idea in our, in our head, you know. And we feel like say, I right now if I have it. And God I said, No, baby. There's certain things you need to work on. You need to work on certain things before you can get that. You know what I mean? It could be anything. It could be anything. Say for example, you say I want by a house. And God I said, baby girl, or baby boy. You want the house? No, this year you want it. You might have a down payment enough, but you might say, all right, look here, your credit not good enough. You need a co-signer or whatever. You need a better job or whatever. The case might be, I don't know. I'm gonna say, we're pandemic and check me back in two years. You know why I hear that? You don't want to hear that. So then you quit. You know, but I want to buy the house or whatever it is. You know what I mean? But if you're trusting him and believing him, I must say, listen. He's gonna come back in a two year or one year time. I want a better house you get, a better care you get. You know what I mean? Same with if you were to go into a relationship. Sometimes you need a year off, two years off, whatever it is, to find who you are, to better who you are. So the next relationship you're going to know, you can't say, yeah, man, I know about me, I need him if it no go right. You know what I'm saying? You want to get going there with a, a mindset knowing that you, you, you have something. Not just financially and just physically. You have something to really offer and give to that person, teach that person. Because a lot of times people just go into a relationship just to go into a relationship. And every day we're evolving and we're growing. And it's okay. It's good to teach and to accept lessons at the same time. That's how I look at life. And that's how I would want. That's how I want my next relationship to be. To be able to teach my partner and for him to teach me. And we grow together and we evolve together. You know what I mean? A lot of people are in relationships nowadays for the wrong reasons. Everybody just in a relationship because I'm lonely and then they don't know how to just they by themselves and grow and love themselves and all these other things. You know what I mean? But my goals they change. I just want to be the better version of myself. And let me tell you, I say prayer. Prayer beats everything. Prayer beats everything. And just pray to God. 
um, be honest with yourself, trust the process, regardless of what you're dealing with right now. You see the thing called anxiety, and a lot of people are dealing with anxiety. Before the COVID thing, a lot of people were dealing with anxiety, they don't know how to control their anxiety or their emotions, and they don't know how to speak on it, they're ashamed to speak on it. Don't be ashamed, because there's a, there's, there, there's a lot of people who are dealing with, they break down here and there, it's okay, feel your emotions. But don't let it hold you down for the don't let it hold you down too long. You feel it, get back up and and, and back to what you need to get to. Just be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself. I want to share something quickly. I, I want to share something quickly before I go. Um and it's just it was a big pill for me to swallow and for me to accept and to be honest with myself about. So earlier this year, um my grandfather had passed away. He passed away on January 8th. Um passed away and um i felt like i was wrong from my emotions i didn't get a chance to really mourn his death i didn't get a chance to go to jamaica and uh, go to the funeral or anything or be around any family like i was alone i was alone right and this was like the first time in a very long time um i experienced death in the family i don't want to get into that i don't want to get into that but my grandfather passed away and it did affect me but i felt like i had to just suck up my feelings i felt like i had to just suck up my feelings put on a smile and act like nothing happened and that's the truth and that's the reality and i remember i um i remember the day it was a friday i remember i got the phone call and um, Maybe I wanna be rich and, um my way of dealing with things is I used to just do things to numb how I'm feeling. Either overwork, working out, that was one of them, just going to the gym, working out. And I remember um I went to work that day. And it's like, I'm like, what? Like I was at work and I could not focus. And it's like my heart was my chest was so tight and I'm just like I can't do this. I'm like trying to hold back tears, like I couldn't do it. And I left, I left. And uh, I remember the HR lady called me and like she just, it's like, she was so like, she didn't really care. And that kind of hurt me because like people genuinely don't care. Like they don't have a heart. They don't care. You know, even though I might care, you know, other people don't care. And that's just how, that's the reality. There's so many hurt and damaged people out here and that's because of, and they hold on to so much things and that's why they have like that wall up and they're so bitter or whatever and they tell themselves all these lies and whatever, whatever. So I didn't get to go through that experience with like my family and stuff. I, I was here by myself. And it did affect me, but I had to just suck it up. Be a mommy. Um, go back to work, be an employee. Um, bills had to get paid same way. Like basically what I'm saying like life didn't pause. Everything else was still happening. I still had to pick up and do what I had to do. Because God forbid if something if I took time off and you know I go to Jamaica and I come back quarantine and that's like maybe a month off work, I don't have a backup. I am my backup. I am my backup. If that makes sense. So I just had to like come to terms. Maybe I wanna be Come to terms and just be honest with myself and if, and when I start um, really just accepting certain things and praying to God and I start getting that peace, feeling more peaceful and understanding things like that death is a part of life. We will all go eventually. Um, I just have to accept it and be honest with myself that he was in pain when he was alive. Now he's at peace. I just have to accept that. And that's just the truth. And I know that I gain an angel that's protecting me and guiding me. And I know that he's proud of the woman that I'm becoming. And that stuff just keep me going. Because I know that's the truth. And I'm being honest with myself. And I just want to make him proud. You know, like to be, to go closer to God and to be better overall and i'm not saying that i'm perfect there's so many other things that i'm working on and i'm being honest with myself that i'm not like i will never be this perfect i will always have flaws everyone has flaws but there's certain flaws that we can accept and there's certain flaws that we cannot accept or we cannot live with you know and that's just the truth and that's just reality and it's just a pill still swallowing the pill and um uh, yeah it's just one of the pills i had to swallow i swallowed a lot of not physical pill but like i just had to um 
accept so many things and just be real and honest. And I just hope and pray that like someone will just see me, me watching this video and say, you know what, a true shit talk, you know. Sometimes I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, bad person in the relationship, them, you know. They come in and take your time, them feet, time. I'm not take, trying to say that. Sometimes you need to take a, 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 a break. Don't stop. Our life does not stop. Just take a break and just be honest with yourself. And if you're in a situation, a relationship, and you know the person will never change, be honest. This is what you want for the rest of your life. This is what you want for another day or another month or another year. Be honest. If you're in a one job and you're not happy in the job, is this the job you want to do for the rest of your life? If you're if you're a, bit, a little bit thicker or whatever, is this the way you want your body to look for the rest of your life? If if you say yes, you want to do something. Me, I have certain goals I want to do. I want to learn another language. I want to do all these cool stuff. Like you know, I mean, I want to ride a bicycle. I want to ride a bicycle. I want to have a swim. I'm being honest with myself. I want to learn them something. I gotta learn them. I gotta take my time and learn them. And it's just for me. It's not for anybody else. It's not for me to say, oh, to go boast and show off. No, it's for me. Anything I do is for me. And a lot of times I notice that people do things for other people to please other people and they're not happy with themselves. They do things for people and these people, they're boastful about what you accomplished. But while you're struggling, trying to accomplish them, then the people, they never, when you call them for help, they now nah, come help you. But when you accomplish what you accomplish, everybody want to come and boast and jump and say, yeah, this is not right, I did. No, I do everything for myself. And um, I accomplish things for myself. You know what I mean? If me know something of it, me not step on nobody to or them can't forget it. I gotta take my time and get it. And if God says it's not for me, then it's not for me. Me not go do them. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm saying. Honesty. Be honest with yourself. If you know that yourself says something is not for you, we are we are kill up yourself feed for. And because you know that somebody else get it before you. You know, you want bad mind the other person or whatever the case might be. That's another story. But I'm just saying this is this um, Just be honest. Trust God. I know everyone is dealing with this, this change differently. Um, I know some people are not coping well. Some people lost their job. Some people, you know, lost their businesses. Some people lost family members. And it's just like, it's not an easy time. I get it. And people are looking at me like, how, how are you coping? You know, like literally, like I'm literally in this country. I have family here, but I'm literally by myself, and that's just the honest truth. Thanksgiving done, we've been on by myself, and someone did his dad. I was here by myself. It kind of affected me a little bit, but not too extreme because I understand and I accept things for what they are. I mean, let me look at seafood, I'm watching a movie, I'm relaxed, and that's it. I'm back at work, can't you? Say. I'm going to accept things, I'm honest to what they are in the future. If I decide to say, yeah, I meet my life partner, then I'll create a family, create that family that, who knows, God already, my book is already written. It's just time and trusting, trusting God and trusting the process. And all I can do is just be a better version of myself. And I hope everyone honestly takes something away from this video. I hope this video makes sense. And I hope everyone, honestly, look in, your, look in the mirror. Honestly, let me tell you something. It's if, it's if you don't want to talk out loud, you can't write. Right. This is my notebook. Life is beautiful. Right. Right. If you don't feel like talking to people, right. If you like music, play some music that you can relate to. Do some poetry. Um, go by the water. I like going by the water because it's very therapeutic. Meditate. Exercise. You know? Feed yourself. Read a book. Feed your mind. Read a book. That might these stuff might be boring for you. Um, I understand that some people don't like to be alone. I love being alone because when I'm alone, I get to reflect and I get to, you know, come up with new ideas and stuff like that. And I, um, I always like to learn. And like when I tell people that I like to do, I like to read and stuff like that. I'm like, oh, that's weird. Like, what do you mean you like reading? No, it's not weird. I like to read. I like to do certain things that help me to be better. So find things. You know, maybe spend family time and maybe um. I don't know because everything we're very limited now to a lot of things and that's another conversation I don't want to get into but let me just say this before I go I know we're limited but don't don't stop do not stop be honest with yourself I'm telling you you see once you're honest with yourself hey everything just gonna play out everything will make sense I'm telling you still keep that fire going do not quit don't give up that business that you wanted to start, find a way to start it. School that you want to go, find a way. You know what I mean? And like I was saying before, maybe the timing is not no, but don't 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 quit on it. 
don't quit on it still maybe god is saying that you need to do certain things before you can start certain things if you get what i'm saying but work on your attitude work on how you deal with people work on you know what i mean your emotions how to control your emotions work on your your savings how to save work on your diet work on um your relationship with your parents or whoever it is people that you feel like you need to apologize to, to give them that closure work on that no, 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 share with your game. and if they don't want to accept it at least you know say you do what you have to do for you for you to feel better because sometimes you don't know say it affects some people with your words you know and your action i know it is everybody it's so easy for everybody to just say you know forget this and walk out and not care about you it's hard to find people but we, we but we stick it out every relationship we have this agreement friendship parents boyfriend girlfriend husband wife no matter work people people you work with you will have a disagreement you're allowed to have a disagreement you will have you will people with your word and you with your word too but it's how you deal with it and communication and comprehension oh that's so important you know what i mean a lot of times people i'm telling you people they, they don't communicate they just quit and that's it but like i was saying before not everyone is meant to be in your life forever but some people do you do need to speak and communicate if something is bothering you you'll express how you feel and you'll fix it and you'll enjoy it if that person is not meant to be in your life then i'm gonna react in a very negative way and carry on a negative let me tell you something before i go can i keep saying i'm going i do my work out with them and my mother is my biggest supporter okay she watch all of my video them and i respect my mom beyond words okay as old as i am you think i ever say certain things and on the phone my mother you make it think i can say certain things and act a certain way you must see my i still res i will respect my mom for the rest of my life okay that being said my mother called me six o'clock I don't remember what time, but it was early. I was going to work, and she said, "Me don't like the like music the way I play." I mean, you know, my head myself, but it's just music, and you know, me like them kind of music here. I'm afraid change my and I'm a head me. I said, "Me," but I allow her to speak, and you know, it took me a while. I'm saying, you know what? It's true. What she's saying is true, and it makes sense because it's on the internet. It's not just. I'm not just making the videos for myself. People will see this, and there's different type of people in the world, and I mean our family and all that stuff. So, how am I really trying to portray myself? You know what I mean? How exactly am I trying to portray myself? I'm still being authentic, but I don't have to play certain music just to make people know that I'm authentic or real or whatever. You know what I mean? And I took the video down, and I re-edited the video, and I just changed up the music. And it goes to show that I am really growing as a person. But what is growth if you're not taking, if you if you won't accept constructive criticism? You know what I mean? And what she said was true. And that's another part of just being honest and acceptance. But guys, I think I am done talking. I hope you guys understand and get what I was trying to say from everything I said, all the rambling. And I hope you guys honestly share this video, like this video, um, comment down below. And just leave something. If you feel like you wanted to add something to this video, just make a comment down below or message me um i would like to do more videos like this um but i'm gonna run to the store now <laughs> and start my cleanse video with you guys Thanks. god bless peace love and happiness enjoy Mwah.